Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a spiced applejack. Now, this is a simple cocktail that comes right out of Lynchburg, Tennessee, the home of good old number seven, Jack Daniels. In fact, you can find it on their website. So, this is a simple build in the glass cocktail, and we're going to start by grabbing yourself a highball glass. And what we'll do is we'll just fill that up with some ice. Now we're going to do this in a slightly different way than I do most cocktails. Normally I start with my cheapest ingredients first. In this case, you know what? I really don't care. It's a simple building your glass cocktails. And if you make a mistake, that's okay because this cocktail allows you to have a little bit of wheel room. Now we're gonna start this with a good old uh, Jack Daniels number seven. And we're going to start with an ounce and a quarter or 37 and a half mils. And we're going to follow this up with an almond liqueur. And for that, we're going to use a little bit of amaretto and we're using Di Serrano for this. This will give us those flavors of almond, a little bit of orange, but we don't need a lot. We're going to use half an ounce or 15 mils. And the added benefit that the Di Serrano is gonna give you because of its liqueur is it's going to give you some added sweetness. Now our next point is to add the apple to the apple jack. And for that, I'm just going to use some store-bought apple juice. Use whatever you want. If you got some fresh stuff, absolutely fantastic. However, we're going to use a total of two ounces or 60 mils. Our fourth ingredient here is ginger beer. Now I'm using 1642 ginger beer. Uh, use whatever you like. And one of the good things about ginger beer is you can get varying levels of spiciness from the ginger beer so you can get exactly what you want. Now what we're going to do is just top this up all the way to the top. Once you've got that full, you have a gorgeous little bit of a layer. Grab yourself a spoon and just give yourself a little bit of a mix to incorporate everything. And now we're going to garnish this. So grab yourself a lemon. And what we'll do is we'll just cut it in half because all we need is a wedge. So just grab a little bit of a wedge, slide that inside just like this. And here you have a spiced apple jack. Grab a straw, give it a try. Mmm, really good. It is not spicy. There's a little bit of hint from that ginger beer. You get the apple sweetness, but you also get some nuts and you get the whiskey. It's light, it's easy to drink, it's perfect for all year round. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look after the recipe card right up here.